G'day folks, a very warm welcome to wherever you are joining us from the world. My name is Jackson and I'm joining you live from Sydney, Australia. It's a beautiful sunny Thursday, Thursday here. <laughs> but folks, before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land in which we're presenting to you today from uh, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. And I'd of course like to extend uh, my respects to elders past and uh, present. So, joining me today is my co-host, Sarah. How are you, mate? Well, I am well, welcome, thank welcome. you so much. <laughs> and a very warm welcome to our Facebook Live. It's great to have you joining us because today we are going to explore how to add and edit audio in your video projects. Want to see what I'm talking about? Yes, please. Clementini. Fresh pressed juice. New size, same fresh juice. Clementini.com. Wow, amazing. We've got so many folks joining across the world live. Welcome to you all. So everyone, it's video month here at Canva and we asked you, you all, um, what do you want to learn about Canva video? And funnily enough, adding audio to video projects was one of the top requests. So we've asked the lovely Sarah here today because as a professional video editor, you do exactly this almost every day. Isn't that right? I, I absolutely do. I work with audio every single day. I'm looking forward to answering some questions from our community today from people like Ajoa who asked, is it possible to add music and other audio to video projects? And May who asked, is it possible to add music and have it fade out towards the end of the video clip? You'll find out more in just a moment. Yes, we will. That mm. sounds great. And of course, <laughs> just a reminder, everyone, if you've got questions, chuck them in the comments and we'll try to answer them along the way. We'll get started in just a moment, only but a moment, mm. Zara. But mm -hmm. first, for those that have just joined us, we're about to deep dive into some hot tips and tricks using audio in your video projects in Canva with our video expert, Sarah. Welcome. We're going to explore three things apparently. One, thumb, how to add audio to your video projects in Canva and how many audio tracks you can add in the Canva project. Mm -hmm. Two, index finger, uh, how to balance audio levels. So for example, you know, if you want to balance your narrator's voice uh, mm -hmm. over your mm -hmm. background music, we're actually yep. going to deep dive into that. And three, middle finger, how to fade out and fade in your music tracks. Yes, May. That one is just for you. Mm -hmm. Let's get cracking. Okay, so did you know it's actually super easy to add audio into your Canva video projects? Let's jump into the editor and I'll show you. Okay, so here we go. We have the Clementini ad that you and the lovely Jess created together. Beautiful juice, folks. Uh, beautiful juice. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your tab and you're going to click the audio. If you don't have that tab up, it's so easy. All you have to do is go to apps and there should be an audio one about here. If you just click that, it will add to your tab. So I'm going to go back, audio, and I'm going to type in, because this is a really fun ad that you guys made. It's got that nice pops of sounds. I'm going to add, I'm going to just type in fun. So just quickly, we've got Lorraine from LA and Leslie from Sri Lanka joining us. Welcome, 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 folks. Welcome. Do you like Clementini juice? We're obsessed. <laughs> so what we're going to do is with the Canva editor, where your indicator is, is where your music is going to go. So what you can do is you just click it and it'll then go into your timeline. So I'm going to just click nothing like wine, nothing like juice in our case. Yes, very good. And it's going to go there. An amazing thing with the Canva editor. So as we saw, that audio is three minutes and two seconds long. My video is only 12 seconds. Canva editor adjusts to what your timeline is. So if it's two minutes, it'll adjust to the two minute. But if it is, say, a six minute video, you'll have to either duplicate the song or you can add two songs to that. Speaking of that track, mm. so if you have like a six minute video or so you have the two tracks, but even in this case with our 12 second track, Canva has a limit of how many audio audio oh. files you can have in there. So it's a 20 track limit. So that's something to think about when you do it, when you do your edit. And also a fun fact, actually while I'm here, love fun facts. when you split audio, which means make a cut. So if I made a cut in this song right now, it is a one track that will then become two. So that does add to your, to your 20 track limit. Okay. So that's tip number one. With Sarah about to jump into tip two, which is. Okay. This is the juicy part that we are up to. Here we're going to go over having multiple audio tracks in one timeline. So this is really helpful when you want to overlay your video with more than just a music track by adding a voiceover and sound effects. So let's take a look. Okay. Before we do that, I noticed I didn't even play the music track. So that's a bit ridiculous. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press play so you can hear what I chose. 
And this one, like I said, I chose something fun to mirror my video. That's something you wanna think about when you're doing audio. You wanna think, okay, how is this gonna mirror what the video visual is? Okay, so we're gonna play this. I'm gonna pop my volume up. And what you can do with the Canva editor, you can either click the play button just there, or you can hit your space bar. So I'm just gonna. Amazing, beautiful. beautiful, beautiful. And a quick tip here, what you can do as well to adjust your audio. So I love the start of that track. I don't want it to be, like I said, it was a three minute, three minute song. I don't want the other bit of the song, but if you don't like this bit, what you can do is you can click adjust. So you right click and then you go adjust and you can move it on your timeline. Wow, I didn't even know you could do that. Really. I know, yeah, seriously, wow. isn't that amazing? It's That's so wow. good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I actually recorded Jackson's amazing voice for the voiceover that we're going to use for this video. So I would go to uploads and audio, and I'm gonna use Jackson Clementini 2. So remember what I said at the start? I said, you've gotta make sure that your indicator, I'm gonna zoom in, and I just did that with my two fingers, um, on the trackpad. So I'm gonna go to the start because I want to make sure that that voiceover is at the start of the video. I'm gonna zoom back out. Oh, don't do that. Just while we're zooming, I'd love for everyone in the chat, if you're using audio in your video tracks and maybe even what you're using it for, maybe you've got a juice brand that is our competitor. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so I just added Jackson's audio. I just dropped it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play Jackson's audio, but first I'm gonna mute the music because when you're editing audio, you wanna make it as easy as possible. You don't wanna overwhelm yourself. So we're gonna mute the music so that we can hear Jackson's voice. I'm gonna just right click right here. I'm gonna click volume and I'm gonna do that. So it's on zero. Don't forget, even though there's not a waveform, so there's, a wa there's, there's normally a waveform. If I undo that, command Z, there's a waveform. That's and I muted song. it, that's the song. But this right here, this is Jackson's voice. And an amazing thing that you can look for when you do audio is waveforms. So right here, this is Jackson's voice. I know that. So I know Jackson makes a lull about here, or you, you, make, a, you make a breath, okay. not, not a lull. You don't, you don't lull. So I'm gonna zoom out. So I think I'm going to make a split here. So a split is a cut. I'm gonna separate it from that track. So what I'm gonna do is, remember I said how the indicator has to be at the start or wherever you wanna place your music? With a split, you only, it doesn't matter where your indicator is, it matters where your mouse is. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click split audio. Wow. And you see how that became two tracks? That's wild, it's a lovely Canva feature, isn't it? Absolutely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it down just a little bit. So I'm just gonna hold my mouse and I'm gonna trim that. And what I wanna think about is I wanna make sure Jackson's voice, when he says Clementini, I want it to come up when the graphic is there. So that's a great thing about music, audio, sound effects. You wanna cut things to the beat or you wanna cut things to the graphic, to the point you're trying to push. So for me, it's Clementini. So we're gonna play that. Clementini. Beautiful. That's that sounds that, exactly that like is, my voice. That ex exactly. And then I would trim and I would move all these across. But for today, I won't be doing that. So we are going to go back there and we're going to add some sound effects. So the sound effects, what I'm thinking is there's a great graphic here. There's one, two, three, they come in. And I think that would be a great time to add a sound effect. So I'm just gonna go back to the audio, I'm gonna delete that, and I'm gonna to come to these three lines, and I'm gonna click effects for sound effects. Mm -hmm. When you're doing sound effects, think words, if you're doing something funny, or you've got a graphic in your, in your video, think funny words like boing, swoosh, Doing. Onomatopoeia, folks. Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is where it's at. And just quickly, I want to give a shout out to Dr. Lisa, who's learning how to use Canva on Amazing. short form videos. I don't even know what that is, Dr. Amazing. Lisa. I'm going to Google it right after this, but well done. So I know what I want. I'm doing swish. That's another word. Swish is a great one. So I'm going to do swish two, and I want to put that baby right where the first graphic comes in, which is there. 
and I am just, I put my indicator back on the timeline where I wanted it to go and I'm just gonna click and there we go. And what, because there's three, what I would do is I would, I would duplicate it and you can duplicate that by doing Command D. So Command D and I would move that across and then Command D for the third one. That's wild. So we've got four tracks. That means we can have well, how many left? <laughs> well, no, yeah, no, we actually, oh, because five. we split five. Good, good pickup, Jackson. So that was tip two, how to add narration and adding sound effects. I did just hear from a little birdie that we've got one more tip and trick to cover. We absolutely How do. cool is that, folks? So you can add music, narration, and even sound effects oh so easily. But please let us know in the chat if you've explored Canva's sound effects library. It is dense. It, oh, it's, it, there's so much to choose from. Very good. Swish, <laughs> boing, onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. I wonder if it's got a swoosh. A swoosh oh, swoosh. there would be a swoosh. There'd be a swoosh. We'll find out after this. But folks, if you've just joined us, we're about to deep dive into our third and final tip in this video series. Sarah, tell us what is the third and final tip we've been waiting. Okay, okay. So you're getting pretty good at audio now, but your project isn't really polished if you can't fade your tracks in and out, right? Of course. But is this possible in Canva? Yes. Yes, it is. And I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so I went to this part of my project if I when I split everything. So I've got all the voiceover, I've got all the sound effects and the places I need. So what I want to do to finish this off is I want to click and I want to go up to audio effects. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to do a fade in and a fade out. So I'm just going to pop that in. Actually, while I do, I'm going to fade in and I'm going to zoom in right here on the timeline. So do you see how there is that light purple, like a, almost a gradient. There's that light purple and then there's that dark purple. So that is your fade. It's showing how much you're fading in. So for me, I actually think that's cutting in on my song a bit too much. So I'm going to, I just zoomed out, I am going to, un, I'm going to go back a little bit. I think 0.4 would be good. There's no rule of thumb with what your number should be. It's just dependent on what you think works. Mm. Point 0.4 is actually my lucky number. Oh, is so, 0.4 your yeah, lucky number? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good to know, good to know. Just while we have a second, folks, please tell us your audio questions in the chat and we can get to them at the Q&A at the end. Um, Lynette is learning so much. I know Amazing. I am. I didn't even know what you do fade in, fade out. It's, it's great. Yes. And, and it is, it truly polishes your video at the end. It makes sure that your, your audio is not so abrupt. It really gives that beautiful fade. So with that, I've got, I faded on this, this guy I'm going to fade on at the end because I actually did a little sneaky cut because I wanted it to the beat just a little bit more. Oh, just a little, yeah, exactly. Okay, so what I would do is I would, for each individual um, audio track, I would do a fade in and a fade out. Oh, but something I forgot to actually mention, which is super important in my last tip, is so with the music and the voiceover, it's really important that you want your voiceover to be louder than your music. It's, it's giving, you're giving information. It might be something you're selling. You want your, your music to be, to be lower than that. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So with that, I am going to right click and do volume. Okay. I had already adjusted it on this one. Apologies. So I'm going to go back to hundred to show you what I mean. So I'm going to go back to the start and I'm going to click play and we're going to see if the audio and the voiceover are working. I feel like it's not going to. I think you might be right there, Jackson. I think you might. So I'm going to click play, which is space bar. Clementini, fresh press juice. New size. I don't know about you, Jackson, but that is a little bit too loud for I me. I would not buy that juice. Can't <laughs> Just even hear the based dialogue. on the music. <laughs> okay, so we're going to lower that. Remember, right click and we're going to go to volume and I'm going to put that back to 30 because I think 30 is the best number for this, this track. Not I've actually done an edit before where I had to get it down to level two. Whoa. So it's so dependent on the song. It's so dependent. So I'm going to lower that. I'm going to do, actually, you know what? I'm going to do 25. I'm going to do 25. I'm going crazy today. Whoa, this is a live video, folks. Anything could happen. Anything is could it balanced? Let's find happen. out. And we're going to. Clementini, fresh press juice. Mm. New size. 
Clementine.com. Oh my God, stunning. I just would like to say that I am available for voiceover artistry. Beautiful. Hit me up um, and I will sell your juice for you. Absolutely. Or anything. <laughs> <laughs> So that was our final audio tip. Now you're all music fading experts. So now we've got some time for some more questions and stuff. I just want to say thank you for your three fantastic tips in video projects that have been absolutely phenomenal. We've got some um, questions from the audience. Margot has asked a lovely question. Are there Canva classes to learn more about video? There are indeed. Um, so if you go onto our YouTube channel, Canva, you can definitely learn some amazing tips and tricks for audio. Absolutely. Yeah. You might even see us feature in it. Did you do a design school? No, I didn't. Oh. Oh, Jackson. In one of them, Jackson. I made too my soon, mom too some soon. hot sauce. So thanks, mum, for enjoying <laughs> that hot sauce. Uh, it's very, very good. Lorraine has said, this has been fabulous. Oh, and guess thanks, what, Lorraine? Lorraine? You're fabulous. We can yes, agree on that, can't we? absolutely. <laughs> what are we going to do with this afterwards? Are we going to put it on the internet and just sell the juice? Uh, yeah, if, if you want. Have we, got, have we actually got a product? I don't think so. Maybe we need to go into production. Yeah. Does anyone out there have any fruit connections? Does anyone have a juice factory? <laughs> or even a small juicer. <laughs> These hands were made to juice lemons and limes. I think that's it, folks. Um, I'd love to thank the lovely Sarah for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Job. You are getting complimentary juice for the next 20 years <laughs> of your life. But, folks, we'll be back for another Canva Live session in December where one of our designers, Maddie, will be showing us how to create websites and portfolios in Canva. I'm sure we're going to be creating a juice website or something. Oh, yeah, watch Maybe, your space. Yeah, some juice headshots. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. But you can sign up for that right now at canva.com forward slash events so you get the event reminders so you don't miss out and get to see our lovely faces or my lovely face. Um, <laughs> thank you to your lovely face, Sarah, for joining us. You've been a stellar co-host. Thank you so much. And we can't wait to see you at our next Facebook Live. Yeah.